Okay, I've tried filming this intro like four times now and I'm starting to get annoyed with myself, but all you need to know, I'm going into town, I'm getting goldfish, I'm bringing them back, I'm putting them in one of our water troughs. And I will go into more detail when I have the fish at the water trough. Um, please enjoy the video and subscribe if you're new. All right, let's get to this. All right, I ended up uh, getting 10 of these little dudes. Get them uh, buckled in here. Safety first for my little goldfish bros. There we go. Hopefully the ride to home won't be too much for them and they all make it. Cause you know, goldfish are just prone to randomly dying sometimes. But let's get them to their new home. All right, so we've brought the fish to what is going to be their new home. There's a small water trough up in our calf barn. And basically what I'm gonna do here right off the rip is I'm just gonna float the bag in the water so then the fish can get used to the temperature. And then after a while of doing that, I'm gonna start dumping water into the bag to more acclimate them to the water trough water. And then just let them float there for a little bit, make sure none of the calves rip the bag open. But um, basically, the reason that I'm doing this is uh, the fish, the goldfish especially, they like to eat algae and they also will eat um, mosquito larvae and any sort of insects that fall in there. So at this point, I'm basically just paying for uh, a $3 automatic uh, water trough cleaning system through the fish. I ended up getting 10 of them. So basically, I would recommend if you're like maybe uh, you have like a, uh, a water trough that you keep out on pasture or maybe you're like a rancher or you're just a hobby farmer and you have like a smaller trough. I would recommend getting some goldfish. You know, they're, they're a cheap option and they, they clean out all the algae that might build up in your tanks. And you know, they, like I said, they keep down on the mosquito larva. But they're just like a, uh, it's a fun option because then you get to have some pet fish on the farm that you get to see every day and say what's up to. And they also keep the tank clean. So it builds up this nice symbiotic relationship between the cows and the fish. Just keeping the, you know, the cows backwash some of their feed into there and make the, their water troughs dirty and then the fish clean it out for them. I just think it's a good deal, but uh, anyways, all 10 of them are still floating in their bag here. Let's flip this back up, see how they're doing. Everyone still seems to be doing pretty all right. The trough water is, I think, kind of cold, but I'm just going to keep on floating them there. And then here in a second, I'm going to dump some water into the bag and then we'll, we'll release them into their new habitat. <laughs> I had to go put a coat on because the wind was straight up bowling in me. But um, I'm gonna take the rubber band off the bag now. Take the oh, look at my camera put in. I can. Take some of the uh, trough water and add it into the bag. Hopefully they don't go too crazy with it. Just change up the temp more. Just want to get these guys nice and acclimated is the main goal. I don't want any of them to go, you know, belly up once I release them. So it's a slow process, just letting them chill in the water, flow here. Uh, so I'll be back in probably a couple seconds. I'm gonna add in some more water in a little bit. Um, they seem to be doing good so far. They seem to be taking it well and yeah i'm gonna dump in a little more in a little bit and then we will release them into the trough i think it's safe now to do the next round of trough water in the bag just slowly dump it in here Ooh. all these guys seem nice and big and strong so i do not expect any of them to 
die on me here, but you never know. So I think I might dump in a little bit more to get the bag relatively full with the trough water. And they all seem to be taking it pretty well, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and let the bag dip down. So we'll take one last look at them in the bag before they be released, because I think it'll be hard to see them in the trough once I let them go, but uh, here we go. Letting the bag down. Grab it from the bottom. And let them slowly make their way out if they want to. Oh, a couple are leaving the bag now. They're swimming about. All seem to be swimming around by the bottom looking for food. I'm not sure if you guys can see them at all. Let's see if I can get close. Oh yeah, yeah, you can kind of see them. You can see me too. But uh, everybody seems to be healthy down in there. So that's good, it's a really good sign. Um, I'm gonna keep you guys updated over the next couple of days how our little goldfish friends do. Um, if you guys think I should have more in there, because I only have 10 and uh, this water trough is pretty big. So there's only 10 in there. I don't know, because goldfish are community fish, but uh, if there should be more than 10, I'm not sure. Just let me know. But yeah, it's just a quick goldfish update video I've always wanted. I wanted to get more fish eventually to put in those. But um, if you enjoyed the video or want, want to see more of the goldfish in the future, please subscribe. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, the wind out here has been brutal today. It's whipped me around. Super cold day. But yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.